Hey guys, so today I already did a live stream this afternoon, um, but now we're going to do a vlog for tonight. I know yesterday I mentioned about uh, pulling out some old comic books that we found. Uh, we're helping Jackie's dad clean out his basement and we found an entire box of old comics from like the 1950s. So some of them are still in pretty decent shape. A lot of them are still like, you know, I guess what they would call fair. We're gonna look through them, we're gonna pull out the best ones and just see what, see what he's got. Uh, there's actually some pretty neat Disney stuff in here. I know there's Mighty Mouse, Beetle Bailey, Archie, all those good old fun ones. Let's take a look and see what we got. It's true, I'm even being like studio professional and I got my ring light out and everything today too, so. <laughs> But look at all those. I mean, this is just a quick glance of what we got. So I tried to kind of like group them a little bit, but I don't think they're in a good order. So I think it would probably be best if I went through and like just pulled out the ones that are in good shape and show you what it has. Even if there's some that are not in such great shape, but 12 cents, 12 cents. Donald Duck Christmas Parade. Like, I, there's so many awesome Donald Duck ones in here. Scrooge McDuck, and then there's another one too. I forget his name, but he's like some goose. But he's there too. All right, um, this is a little too bright for me. I'm gonna turn this away while I do my sorting. There you go, see, I don't need that much light anyway. It looks good like that. Okay, so here's what I've got. I've kind of grouped them into four categories. Um, this is Donald Duck, mostly Donald Duck stuff. Um, this is mostly Uncle Scrooge stuff. This is Disney, this is that gyro gear loose. And then there's Disney comics and stories, things there. And then this is everything else. Yeah, so if you know somebody who's a collector, make sure you share this video with them so they can see. I know sometimes these people who are into comic books are like, really looking for stuff. Um, I did check with some local people. They said right now the big ticket is um, superheroes and horrors. So they're not really interested in like the comic funny ones right now. Who knows? I mean, everybody could be looking for anything at any time. I'm gonna check them out and see if they're worth anything, how much they're worth. If they are, great. If not, they might just get listed on eBay and then see what happens from there. Okay, so set number one, these are the Donald ones. I know this first one is actually a, a comics and stories thing, but they had Donald on the front and it was in pretty good condition, but just like look at them, like it's so neat. So neat. The old store the old um Disney stories and the old comic strips. Like it's just just amazing to me. And like the ads. <laughs> Build a body of steel. See, they've been doing this since the sixties, friend. Make money, get prizes. I mean this is nothing new. <laughs> <laughs> We're still doing this. Still doing this. After 60 years. Okay. More comics and stories. Oh, look, there's Chip and Dale. <laughs> wow. This is so, so neat. Donald Duck. Here we go. There's a, a, a straight Donald Duck comic. Let's open it up and see. Like, how cool is this? If you're a Disney person, like, this stuff is right up your alley. Seriously. I mean, just so neat. Timber! Weird boulder beasts attack Donald's outer space safari. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. Let's see how Donald saves the day in this one. Well, he works with Goofy. And look at this, the pig's predicament. Like, three little pigs, it's an actual story in the comic book. What? Oh, and then another story. This, ugh, I can't, I can't. This is just, this is too neat to me. Okay, so in this one, this is, um, Dell is the company that made these 15 cents. I can't, wow. So in this one, there are prizes and things in the middle of the comic I saw. Let me see if I can find them again here. There we go, look. Grand opening, Dell Trading Post. So it looks like, you know, like, like a club type thing, like you collect like cover strips and stuff like that, and then you can, you can, you can buy things, send it in. Anyway, the trading post thing kind of reminds me of Ralphie and the, um, in a Christmas story with his Ovaltine thing that he got. It's like, kind of like, kind of like that stuff. And look, in this one, the, uh, Evil Queen as the, uh, the old woman, unless it's just another witch, but it looks like Evil Queen. I don't know. What do you think? Pretty neat.
Okay, now this is one that I am very interested in. This is the Gyro Gear Loose. Um, it's in pretty decent shape and it's a little cracked on the edges. But, um, yeah, I think I remember them. I don't, did they use them in DuckTales? They may have. I don't remember. Uh, look at this little light bulb friend. <laughs> Alright, let's see what's inside. So it starts in Monsterville. Guys, this is just, it, it's so. I know I keep saying it, but it really is just so neat to me. There's even a comic on the back. Alright, these next couple are kind of our Disney, like, mixed bags. So, different comics and stories. Um, it does still look like they're Donald Duck centered. Maybe we'll get some Mickey in here. I haven't, s I don't, did we see Mickey yet? I don't know. Oh my gosh. <laughs> look at that ad for Lucky Charms. That's amazing. There's a story about a leprechaun. <gasps> There's Mickey and Goofy. Goofy jokes. Oh my god. Even Rocky and Bullwinkle with Cheerios. What? Wow. Okay, so that one um, comic did say Br'er Rabbit on the cover, but I didn't find Br'er Rabbit anywhere in the comic itself. Uh, but I did find... Chip and Dale have their own story in one of these comics, which I thought was pretty fun. I mean, so a lot of this is the same stuff, you know what I mean? There's like a story, and then the comics themselves. Pretty cool. These are all the Scrooge McDuck ones. Okay, there's Santa, Scrooge McDuck, <laughs> Uncle Scrooge. Uh. <laughs> Washing with money. Okay, so now the last stack are a little bit different. Um, these are all the other random things that were in there. So first we have some... Uh, Archie, every month laugh. Archie and Veronica, like, this is the stuff. This is so neat. Jughead, I don't know what he's doing in there, but weird. Archie's pals and gals. <laughs> this is actually a pretty thick one. So there's like lots of different stories in here. If you watch Riverdale, um, and you don't know that this is, this is like actually what it's based on, so. Um, these old comics. Life with Archie. <laughs> that guy, eee. He's looking pretty, uh, menacing. Betty and Veronica. So you're the one with all the pen pals. <laughs> Funny. Hey, Beetle Bailey, so when I was a kid, Beetle Bailey was just a comic strip in the newspaper. I didn't realize they had, you know, full comics as well, but it was all about um, people in the army. Okay, so this I have never heard of. This is pretty uh, unique. Superman's pal, Jimmy Olsen. I don't know what it is, but he has a lot of spikes coming out of him like he's a porcupine guy. Oh, he's a human porcupine. This is the only, like, superhero comic in here. But Pennies for UNICEF. Superman doing his part. Oh, and here's some actual story about Jimmy Olsen. It was at the end. <laughs> okay, and then Poppy had a couple of these things called treasure chests of fun and facts. So I think they're a little bit more like educational, maybe. I don't know. Patsy Manners. God's Frontiersman, Apostle of the Indians. Or, okay, De Los Casas, whatever. Very cool comic, so Blind Man's Bluff. Yeah, it's, it looks like stuff from like uh, Dick Tracy era. Jerry Lewis even had a comic. America's Funniest Comic Mag. 15 cents, Jerry Lewis. Um, gonna have a problem there with a the bear. Okay. It's so neat. Oh, this one got a little bent. Oh, darn. Oh, well. And then the last one here. Mighty Mouse in Outer Space. If you don't know who Mighty Mouse is, Mighty Mouse was a uh, cartoon when I was a kid that you could actually watch on TV. Um, but I know, I guess he did start out as a comic strip too. So, I mean, there wasn't, you know, reading happened before television. <laughs> but, very cool. This one's actually pretty thick. There's quite a few stories in this one as well. But. All right, so, I mean, that's something different, right? It's, it's unique, it's interesting. 
Uh, it's interesting to me. Um, anything kind of, you know, old era though is, is interesting. I think it's pretty neat. But I definitely want to look through them again, uh, check them out, you know, see like the different kind of characters and stories that are involved. Something new, something different. Um, that's what I hope to bring here. I know it's, it's not really Hershey related, but uh, we're going with the daily vlog too. So it, it's all good. It all works. All right, guys, I'm going to go kind of straighten up these piles and, and put them back and uh, put this vlog together so you can catch it tonight. It's Friday, it's about 8.45. It'll probably be up like at midnight, of course, so I'll post it again tomorrow, but neat stuff. Uh, let me know what you think. If this is kind of, you know, the stuff that you want to see me continue to do, if you want me to show more of this stuff, absolutely comment below. If you see anything in here that you find of value, like any of those comics or whatever that you want to reach out about, comment below. And then I think, that, you know, all my socials and all my information is in the description, so you can reach me there as well. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Have a great night. See ya.